Hi, George here. And today I'll be showing you how you can make custom swords here inside of Minecraft. It's actually pretty easy. This is Minecraft 121.10. And if you've done earlier resource packs, you'll have to watch this to see the new pack MC meta format, which also is brand new, starting in 121.9. And before we start making this resource pack, I want to ask you to do one thing for me, if you can. I'm trying to get my honey video to 1 million views. I'm real close. I'm 23,000 away right now. Real, real close. Just need just a few more views. So put the link for the honey video at the end of this video and also on screen right there. So once you get to the end of this video, if you can just go over and click on that and go and watch it just for a few seconds, it doesn't matter. Just click on it, go watch it for a few seconds and then close it down. If you don't feel like watching the whole video, that's fine. But I'm just trying to get that over that 1 million mark. It'd be my first video to hit 1 million. So you can help me out there. I really, really appreciate that. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll see how this is done. We'll just change our sort of something more interesting. We don't want these kind of boring standard swords. We can do a lot better than this. And to do that, let's switch over to the desktop and begin working on our resource pack. Okay, here we are on my desktop and I have three swords that I made in here. We'll add these into the game. And I'll show you how you can make your own custom sword. I'll be using Photoshop, but any good photo editor or graphic editor can do this for you. All you have to have is the ability to have transparency. As long as you can do transparency and you have drawing tools, you'll be just fine. Now to get this, we have to first get our vanilla resource pack and get the basic files for this. Plus I have my own custom pack PNG, but I'll show you where you can get the grass block one if you want to use that instead. This is just a square image. It's 128 by 128 and it's a PNG. Nothing special about that. Okay, to get the vanilla resource pack, let's go ahead and bring up the Minecraft launcher, which is right here. Again, I'm in 121.10 right now. Go up to installations and latest release and click on that folder icon right here. And here's the installations folder. Now in here, scroll down until you get down to versions right here, go into versions and then find the current version. It's 121.10 and that's right here. Now ignore anything with anything additional at the end like pre RC1, any of those, ignore that stuff. You want the one that's just numbers. And right now that is 121.10. Open that up and you should see two files in here. And you should see these extensions, .jar and .json. We want that .jar file. If you're not seeing the .jar, go over here to view and come down here to show and put a check next to file name extensions. Now I'm in Windows 11 right now. If you're in Windows 10, then you find the view tab at the top and the file name extensions is a checkbox over on the right hand side over here someplace. Okay, so we have that all set to go. Make sure that you do show those. That's going to be important later on as well. Now to work with this, you also want to have someplace to build your pack. That's what I have right here. It's just a folder on my hard drive. I put it on the C drive. I named it pack. That's all it is. Nothing special about that. So let's go over here and then take that jar file and let's copy it over here. Make sure you don't move that. Make sure you just copy that. We can close this down. Now we need to convert this over to a zip file. It's easy to do because this actually is a zip file that's just named .jar. So if you right click on this, you can rename it right here. Then just move your cursor over where it says jar and then back that up and type in zip. There we go. And click outside, choose yes, and it's now a zip file. Now we need to open this thing up. So right click on this and open a new window. That lets us drag and drop. Now if you want to get the grass block instead of a custom icon over here, that's right here on this page. So to scroll way down near the bottom, and it's right here, pack.png. That's that grass block one. Okay, and to get that one, you just drag it over here. All right, let's go back up here to the top. Go inside of the assets folder, inside of the Minecraft folder, come all the way down here, go inside the textures folder, and then inside the item folder right there. The swords are inside here. Let me change this so that we have image view here. Now you can't see anything because this is inside of a zip file, so you're not gonna be seeing the images, but I can show you where they are. Now something about these swords is, you see over here on the names, they begin with the name of the material, diamond sword, netherite sword, stone sword, so let's just find a gold sword in here. I'll just scroll down to get to the G section. Here's golden, and right here, golden sword. I'm just gonna drag it over here and drop it down. There's the gold sword. Notice how small that is, we'll fix that. These are 16 by 16 images. We'll be working with a much bigger file size, and that's a 64 by 64. But I want the original to start off with. Over here, let's find that copper, or our new copper sword. And it's right there, here's the copper sword, drag that over. So we have our two swords here. Now while we're right here, Notice that we're in a folder structure, assets, Minecraft, textures, and item. We need to have those folders inside of our new working folder over here. So I'm going to put this right there. Let's put this up on top so I can kind of see that list up there. There we go. And let's make these folders. Let's go over here to new. 
and click on folder and the first one is assets go inside of assets and the new folder this one is minecraft go inside of minecraft new folder this one's textures there we go I'll go inside of textures new folder this one's item and inside here is where all the swords are going to be going so we'll put this one that one that one in there and then we'll put in our new one once you make that we'll work on the copper sword we'll put all this stuff into that items folder inside the assets okay that's almost everything that we need in here but we're still missing one important file we need a pack.mc meta file to make this whole thing work we can close this thing down now now it used to be that you could get the pack mc meta from inside that vanilla resource pack it's no longer there so i put those on my website let me bring up that page and that's right here now let's have the newest one over here and if you're used to the older packs you'll see a difference right in here this used to say pack format and then something like pack format 64 that has changed starting in 121.9 and this is the new format for the pack.mc meta file now what this is is right here this is the new main format number and there's also a sub number right here so this would actually be 69.0 the max format this is a higher number if you want it so that hopefully the pack wouldn't break every single time there's an update so i could put it in here 79 if i wanted to and it would only break the pack if the swords were changed somehow in the new pack. If the programming for the swords had changed, I'd have to fix the pack because of that. But if the only problem was the pack MC meta, then by putting in 79 over here, I'd be good for a whole bunch of versions. Then to get this file right here, just go over here, click on this and download this. Click it once, brings up a download window right here. And I'll put it into the same working folder. Choose save. And we now have that new pack. Let's just close this thing down. And here we go. It's right down here. I'll do the same thing. Let's just right click on this, open a new window. There's the pack, drag it down here and you can close this and we can delete that. We no longer need that. Now you don't have to touch this if you're making this for 121.10, but you may want to just change the name in there. Now I like editing these things in Notepad++. It's a free download. Let me bring this up. Here we go. Makes it real easy. I just have custom pack in here for 121.9. We can change all this to say something else. I'll do custom swords, 121.10, so I know which version it's made for. That happens to be version 69. Let's just change this to a higher number. I'll make this 79. The next release at this point is going to be 71 at least. It's probably going to go higher than that. This may not be high enough for that next pack. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But that's your new format right here. Okay, save that. And that's all done. We have our pack MC meta all set to go. So the final pack will have the assets folder, the pack MC meta, and the pack PNG. All right, now let's go ahead and change this copper sword. And I'll be doing this inside of Photoshop. Okay, here we are inside of Photoshop and I'm looking at the pack folder right here. I want that copper sword, choose open. It's gonna be a real small file. I'll just zoom in on this, real, real small file. And notice over here that says index. This is an indexed file, which is gonna be limiting our number of colors. I prefer working in RGB. So let's go ahead and change that. Go to image and mode. Let's set this at RGB color. There we go. Now it's a real small file. This checkerboard back here, that just means that that's transparent. So again, use any editor that you want to use. Just make sure that you can use transparency on that or you're going to see the whole square in your hand instead of just the sword. Also notice the direction in here. The handle is lower left and the end of the sword is upper right. It has to be this way or it's going to look wrong in your hands. Now I want to make more detail in here. And for more detail, we just need to make this size larger. So go up here to image, come down to image size and I want to make this 64 by 64 I always do a multiple in here an even multiple so if I double this it would be 32 by 32 if I do it four times it'd be 64 by 64 and the reason for that is that it then divides the pixels evenly and it'll stay nice and sharp also where it says resample I want this to say nearest neighbor or hard edges all the different drawing programs out there will have this as an option if you're changing the size so make sure it either says nearest neighbor or hard edges, something along those lines. You don't want gradients, you don't want reduction enlargement. Go for nearest neighbor, and you'll have the right thing. Choose OK. Makes it a much bigger file. And notice our pixels now are a lot smaller, which means we can get much nicer detail in here. Now, the next thing about this is you want to be using a pencil tool for this. You want to be filling in solid pixel areas. You don't want to have any gradients happening in here. You don't want a soft edge brush. If you do that, you're going to have kind of a transparency along the edge. That does work out great if you're careful with it. 
That's how I have my lightsaber. I have transparency on the edges so you can kind of see through the edge. Most of the time you don't want to have that. It's correct for a lightsaber. It's not right for anything else. So I recommend using a pencil on this. And the first thing we can do is just to erase these things. Before I do that, I always like to make a copy of my layer over here, right-hand side where it says layer. So right click on this and duplicate the layer, choose OK, hide the original, and we'll work on the copy. That way, if I mess up, I can always go back to my original right here. I don't have to go back and, and redo any of those previous steps. That's just my safety layer. Okay, the first thing I want to do here is just to smooth this edge out a bit. And for that, I'll grab the eraser tool and we'll go up here. I want the hardness set at 100%, want real hard. See, there's a tool, it's too large. Bring the size all the way down to just one pixel. So it's real small like that. And if I erase one pixel, it's going to take out just that one pixel. And then I can come along here and knock these out. Now, this doesn't always erase completely, so you have to come in and kind of hit it a couple of times. You need kind of a transparency happening in there, so you have to be careful with this to make sure you're not getting too much of a transparency happening. That does look weird on the edges. As I work along this edge here, another tip you can use that really helps a lot is to change your eraser up here on your mode up to pencil, like that. And this shouldn't give you any transparency. So just click in here and the pencil mode gets rid of that. We'll be using the pencil mode in the drawing tool as well. So if you can do a pencil mode on your eraser, then go ahead and do that. And it'll give you a much cleaner erase in here. You won't have any bad edges showing up. Okay, so I got this whole blade done now. And I just smoothed the edge down. It's a much smoother edge. You can see it right here in the thumbnail, much smoother. If you want to, you can leave it as this. Or we're going to take it even further in and make it a smaller blade, but I'll keep the thick blade on this one. But I want to bring down this bit right here. This is pretty thick. I want to bring this down a lot. Let's just zoom in. And I'm just going to come in here and erase a lot of these things, just like this. And we'll bring our sword way down in size. Like that. There we go. And the same thing on this side. Let's take out one of these big areas here. This used to be one pixel right there. Now it's 16 pixels. Take that out right here. And I'll take this bit out like that. So I have a much smaller handle in here. And on the handle itself, let's make this a lot smaller too. I'm just going to come in here and just remove some of these pixels like this. And bring that down a little bit. Let me just take those off there. Those off here. So we're making it a much smaller looking sword, much more manageable sword. And maybe we'll come in and do a bit of work on these edges up in here, just some fun stuff like this. And I'll take those off and let's take these off. This will just smooth the edges down a little bit. So just come in and do whatever you want to in here to make the sword exactly the way you want it and give it some style. I'm just putting some holes in here on the ends. There we go. It's a bit more interesting looking sword. Let's put a big hole in the back right down here. There we go. If you want to paint something in, just take your pencil tool. It's my brush up here and pencil tool, and I can then draw stuff in. We'll start off with a basic copper color here and just grab that color. We'll bring that up and let's get this more of an orangey color in here. There we go. And let's just come in and put a line right down the middle of the sword and I'll make it that thick. Now I'll go ahead and I'll finish this step off. And once this is done, then I'll bring the video back up again. Okay, so we made some changes in here. I smoothed things down, added in some color, put some holes in it, just did a few things. You can spend as long as you want and paint a real fancy sword in here. Just keep in mind that the end of the handle is bottom left and the tip of the sword is upper right hand corner. Make sure that is correct. And you want the top of the sword at the bottom side right down here. So here's where the top of the sword is. That's the bottom of the sword. Don't ask me why, but that's the way it works out. And it looks like I missed one spot right here. Let me fix that real fast. Grab the eraser tool and this just knocked that out. There we go. Okay, once you have your file done, once you have your sword drawn, then just save this out and save it as the same name into the same location. File and export. We'll do a quick export as PNG. And again, back into the same location. So it'll replace that one. Choose save and yes. And that's now done. We've now made our new sword. Okay, let's go back to our pack and let's set that pack up and put it into Minecraft and see how this looks. Okay, here's our working folder again. There's our new sword. Looks a lot nicer than the old sword did down there. Let's now take our new swords. That's this one, this one down here, that one. And I want those files. Let's just drag them here into assets. Inside of assets, take the same four files, drag them into Minecraft. 
go into Minecraft, take the same files here, drag them into textures, go inside of textures, same thing. Take all of these, drag them into item. And there we go. They're now all in their right location. That's right here. You can see that this sword has a bottom and a top and the top is on the bottom side. That's what I was talking about over here. If your sword is symmetrical like this, it doesn't matter. If your sword has a real obvious bottom and top, then it's just reverse. The bottom's on top and the top's on bottom. And that just makes it look right when Steve is holding it in the game. Now, to make this into a resource pack, we need the three things, our assets folder, the pack MC meta, and your pack PNG, either a custom one like I have or just the grass block. Grab all of those using my control key here. Grab those. Right-click on this and compress to zip file. Nothing else has to be a zip file. And then give it a name. I'll call this one custom swords. And we're now ready to put this into the game. So for that, let's go back over here to the Minecraft launcher. Let's bring that folder back up again. And this time scroll down until you find the resource packs folder. Let's open this up. And that zip file goes right here. Let's bring that up. I'll just right drag it over here and copy. There we go, it's inside here. So that's all set to go. Let's close that down. Let's get this out of the way. We can now launch the game and check out that pack. So let's click on play right there and we'll load in Minecraft. Here's my custom menu screen. If you wanna see how I did this, I have links for all the different videos for this in the description. Come down to options and resource packs and you should see your custom swords left-hand side. Now this one up here, multiple sounds. I haven't updated this pack yet to the new version of pack MC meta. That's why that's in red. If you wanna find out how to do that, I have a video for that. I'll put that link in the description as well. Okay, here's our custom swords. Let's bring this one over. There we go. Let's choose done. And done again. Go into single player. And I'll go into my main world up here. And we'll take a look at our swords. And there we go. There's our new custom sword right there. It's a nice additional detail in there. Nice smooth edges on that. Looks great. Check our other swords out here. There's another one that I made right there. Same trick. Here's an original sword. And there's our new copper sword. And the thickness right there, that's built into the game. It's just that flat image. And then the thickness is placed in by the game. But I think it looks great. See, there's our little detail in there. So real easy to make custom swords, as you can see. This requires a real simple resource pack. And while we're here again, if you can go over and click on my honey video, I'd really appreciate that. I'm trying to get that to 1 million views. I'm real close, just 23,000 more to go. Click on that. Just watch it for a minute or less. That's fine or watch the whole video, it's a good video, but that'll really help out my channel a lot by getting my first video to hit 1 million. Make sure you hit thumbs up on this video, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and I'll see you next time.